We now want to select the whole thing, just drag a box around and go up to copy and paste. The screen will flash and you've now put another layer. We want to change the angle of that second layer but as you can see there's nothing showing up in my sewing attributes box. So if I click off the page and then select it again I've now got the sewing attributes showing and I can just go down to the direction and change that to 135 and say apply and the whole of the outside has now put a cross hatch on it. We need to do the same on the inside one, change it to 135 and apply. It had actually copied a second one over the top so we only needed to apply the change in directions. You are going to get a few jump stitches because obviously it's got to jump to do this little bit in the middle but don't worry you can easily trim those because they are quite large. Just a couple more bits to do here. Select it again, copy, paste, but turn off your region turn on your zigzag and you can make that zigzag or triple stitch or whatever you wanted to zigzag gives quite a nice finish but you may want to increase it don't forget we're doing this on toweling or something with an um, a pile so if you've got it very narrow it may not show so we'll just increase the zigzag width to three we don't need to touch the density on there say apply now you can do the same here around the letter you can have um, a satin zigzag border if you want to or I prefer just to have just a plain running outline. So again, turn one on, but change it to running stitch, and also on the centre part of the A. So you've now got your letter outlined, your satin stitch going round the outside. To give it an even further finish, we can just select that satin stitch border, copy paste. Whilst it's still selected, go up to edit, edit, numerical setting, size, and we're going to increase that to about 115% and say OK, and we get ourselves a double border. Because it's an oval, you'll notice that it's slightly wider on the sides to what it is in the top and bottom, so we can just select it and just drag it out and use it by eye just work it out so that our border is the same all the way round and we can have a look in realistic preview and that's our completed letter done ready for stitching out on our toweling. Now you don't need to use any stabiliser as such, if you want to you can use water soluble just to hold the towel down while you're stitching it and then just rinse it out afterwards but you want to use thread that is the same colour as your toweling so that these cross hatches actually just hold the loops down and disappear into it and allow the letter to poke through in a nice little bit on the side so I hope you enjoy that simple technique and go on to make yourself lots of sets of towels and whatever else you wanted to do with it I just wanted to explain the reason why we put the run pitch to two millimeters and didn't do leave it on the default of 10. The sheer nature of motif stitch means that it will run in and do several bits then it'll run round the outside and do another few bits and carry on running round. The actual grid will be on the two millimeter setting that we put it on but the bits where it runs round without doing any motif would be on the default setting of 10 millimeters unless we change it. So by changing it to 2 or 2.5 or just a smaller stitch it will ensure that you get even stitches even around the letters and they won't be very large and look like basting stitches. So that was just to explain that reason.